our modern society increasingly depends on complex networks to support our daily routines. Electrical energy is delivered by the power grid. The internet allows us to send information across the world in an instant. And our economies rest upon a complex network of interdependencies spanning the globe. Understanding these networks is at the core of a field of study we call network science. But how can we comprehend a network that's so huge and complex? Let's start by looking at one that's more familiar, a social network. Here we have Amy. Like all of us, she's part of a social network. Here's Amy's family. In a network, each person is referred to as a node, and the connections between two nodes are called edges. These edges don't just link back to Amy. Everyone in her family knows each other, so they're all interconnected. Let's throw some more nodes into the equation to show other areas of Amy's life. Her sister Jenny is a rising star in her under-12s karate club, and her brother Owen has an entire social circle of his own at the office. With all this information added, we can see some surprising connections start to emerge. Amy, did you know that your brother is secretly dating your sister's karate instructor? As the network grows, the diagram becomes much harder to draw and analyse manually. For instance, Amy's mum is a doctor. Look how complicated it gets when we account for all her patients. However, there are a few tools from network science we can use to make sense of all this information. We can adjust the positioning of the nodes via certain algorithms and resize the nodes according to how many edges they have. We can also use algorithms to colour code groups of people who are very tightly connected to reveal different communities within Amy's life, such as her family, friends and neighbours. Sometimes we may need to consider extra interactions that are not pairwise edges to get the bigger picture. For instance, Amy and her family are not just interacting one-on-one, -on -one, they interact jointly and can form a coherent unit that does things together. By accounting for these joint interactions, we may be able to better understand group dynamics such as peer pressure or the formation of coalitions. Using a computer, we can even fit statistical models to a network or find nodes that have the largest number of paths going through them, which would be very hard to do by hand. These advanced techniques have many important real-world applications. For instance, we can use them to analyse species interactions in a natural ecosystem, reveal hidden influences in a social network, or find the people we should vaccinate to stop the outbreak of an epidemic. Using network analysis, we can see that complex systems are often much more than the sum of their parts. Someone's just got to connect the dots.